there any obstruction on your end? Absolutely not. They didn't pistol whip anybody. So you could have actually called the young man and go see, you know. So I'm give you a bit of the case so you know. Can you, can you share with us what you understand let, from the case? Let me share with you. I have said, and I mean this, if any of my children or anybody associated with me, no matter if me want me mom, me power done dead, does anything against the law that's wrong, they go to, to Colbert anyway, no call me because I'm not there. But if they do it for standing up for anybody's right, etc., etc., I will take down the wall and take them out. So let me give you quickly the chronology, young man. A man came to the gas station, as I understand it, and my son was with me in the south that day to buy some butane. After his truck was filled, he decided not to pay because he said, oh, no meet around. He left without paying. Not only did he leave without paying, he came back with a police. But why the hell a police would come back is beyond me. Police inspects the meter and the tank. Now, I don't know what expert expertise he has to do that because other people were buying. He left again without paying. When my son found out, I said to him, report it to the police because the guy has to pay. The guy, my son, I think reported. I'm not sure who he reported to. But anyhow, he gave the guy the receipt. The guy went down to the station Sunday morning while my son and his wife and his kid were heading to Mountain Pine Ridge. And in the station, attacked as I understand it, the attendants, cussing up, etc. My son got there, he got into that cussing match as well. Not only did he get into the cussing match, he rushed towards his vehicle. Now my son doesn't know what the hell is coming out of the vehicle, and so my son grabbed him. That is my understanding from everybody there, and pulled out his weapon. While he did that, the wife came and whopped him in his back with something. Now please explain to me if you should stand there for make some foreigner or some Guatemalan or whoever he is, kill your backside, and then run across the border and the case done, I say hell no. The police were instructed by whomever to do their thing. I didn't intervene, none at all. And I, as far as I am concerned, I stand ready if he's charged anything to defend him to the max. Because if he was in a bar or on the street or drunk, hell no. This is three times. A man comes and buy your product, doesn't pay. Come back with police, doesn't pay. Come back a third time and makes a commotion, hell no. The police cannot get your son to the court. Because the police have the responsibility to look at the case properly and decide if they are going to charge or not charge. And let me tell you something, Mr. Weed. It is not pulling out a gun and assault. Please, this is defending yourself, your property, your employees, and everybody around. And God forbid, if you can't do that in this country, then we have a problem. Could you please speak on the matter that he has been brought in twice by the police, yet they cannot charge him, not because they don't want, because they say it it is political interference. Well, that is your interpretation. The police who's giving you should show information. That is your information. It certainly is not mine. I have no political inter inter interference in the matter. And I am crystal clear again. I am saying the police do their work. It's not everybody that is charged who have some incident, you know. It's not everybody that's charged. So please not try to link this to the fact that he um, happened to be my son.